fully made up face, full foundation and powder and everything. And if you'd like more information on how to get perfect foundation for your special day, you can click on the link below. Okay, so we have our prime lip to start and we're going to take an eyeshadow brush just like this, this second color here in the Elf Beauty Book Neutral Eye Palette. And we're just going to apply that all over the lid. And then just on the same brush, I'm using the other end, we're going to take that color that's right next to the color, the lightest color in the book. And just hit our brow going with that corner of the eye as well and then I'm just going to take an empty or a clean brush like this one I just used it to blend out this eye and we're just going to blend this out to make sure that it's not too too frosty especially in the areas closest to the rest of your face makeup and then I'm just going to take one little tap of the, of the second color and just tap it right on the lid like so. Next I'm taking a C433 Pro Fluff Blending Brush. This is a Coastal Suns brush. And I am taking this color right here. And I'm going to start with that in my crease. This is basically going to enable the other colors to blend a little bit easier together. So we're just gonna take that really blend it out. This is a very easy look. And then we're taking the color right below it, this one right here. And we're going to apply that inside the crease. brush like this because it makes it a little bit easier to get that corner shape just the way you want it. And I'm just going to take the C139, the stiff tapered brush, and go back into that darkest shade and make sure that we get it exactly where we want it, the darkest. And then lift it slightly and feather it out over here. So that is the base eyeshadow, sh eyeshadow shade completely finished. And next we're just going to take a little spritz of Fix Plus or water onto our hand. See, I just have like a drop of it on the top of my hand there. And we're wetting an, wetting an angled brush. This one is the MAC 266. And we're going to pop it into a black shadow. This one is um, Onyx by Estee Lauder. And oops. we're just basically going to build up a nice paste, but a thin paste, and then we're just going to use this to line our eyes. See, this works like a liquid liner. The great thing is that once it dries, you can still blend it. It's still very blendable. So it's going to be a soft black line, which is definitely what you want for this look. You don't want a super harsh black line. So once we get the shape of the line, then we want to take our line and wing it out. the other side
And while we're waiting for that liner to dry, we're going to take a black pencil. This is Avon Super Shock Gel Liner. And we're lining our waterline. Very simple. And then once your liner has set, you're just going to touch a bit of the powder that actually did not uh, get wet, so make sure that it's not wet, it's dry powder. And then we're just going to tap it onto the part of the line that we want to blend out a little bit. Just like that. So now we're just going to take what's left on that brush and just lightly blend the corner of the line. I'm going to do it on the other side as well, just so you can see. And then we are taking a flat top brush like this one, uh, also a blending brush, and we're going to pop it into this shade here, the fourth one in the top row, and we're going to blend out the corner that we've just done. So you can see we're just gently blending the corner so that yes, we have a wing, but it is soft. Just like that, so it definitely softens the wing but still gives us that uplifted shape. So now we're just going to take a touch of concealer on a brush. Here I'm going to use the Olay uh, CoverGirl Olay Simply Age Ageless in 215 and I'm taking it on an angled brush like this one and we're just going to make sure that it's not too heavy of an application. And then we're going to clean up our eyeshadow line right here. Touch up if there's been any fallout anywhere. Sometimes there can be a little bit of fallout by the nose. Just gonna touch it up. Just like that. Now we just want to wipe off our pencil brush that had the black eyeshadow on it. And you want to do this right after you've done the concealer and you want to do it very carefully. So I just uh, cleaned off that brush. Now I'm going to take the third uh, shadow in the second row and cover the pencil brush with it. And then make sure to tap or blow the excess away, and then we're just going to go right underneath the eye here to get a very pretty gold line. And you want to basically connect that line to the black wing, but it isn't actually going to look like a line, it's just going to look like a little bit of a highlighter right next to the black wing. It's very pretty. And then we want to take another angled brush like this one and we're going to do our eyebrows now and I'm going to be mixing these two matte shades this one and this one this one and this one to get the right shade for my brows normally I would use the Bobbi Brown shade Flint for this but just to keep the products uh, as minimal as possible I'm eliminating using my normal colors but you still get a nice effect now I'm going to take some brow gel. This one is by Avon Pro, it's the Brow Enhancer. I'm just going to lift it so that I get a little bit of product. Grab a mirror here. And just apply a touch of the gel to the brow. And then I'm going to take a spoolie and just brush the brow hairs into place so that we get really nice, flawless brows. Now for blush, I'm going to be using a Glow Fusion blush. It's this blush here, and it's in golden. I'll show it to you. I'm using this as a bronzer, basically, and then I'm gonna add a touch of um, the NARS shade Orgasm right over it.
I'm just gonna blend that down into the cheek, into the neck area. Take a touch down the bridge of my nose there. Do a gentle swipe so we get an all the bronzed glow. And then I'm just going to take a touch of NARS Orgasm, which is this peachy pink shade, but it also has a bit of gold in it. And just going to apply that right to the apple. And sweep upwards very gently. really cool gold mine palette by Smashbox and I'm going to use the gold facial highlighting powder to highlight the tops of my cheekbones. take my blush brush and sweep gently over the cheek area to make sure that we got it all blended in. And next I'm taking the Bobbi Brown uh, lip liner in Sand Wash. Now I have the cheek line a touch in the center of the bottom lip and in the corners and in the corners of the top lip and right there. So you can see that there's just a lighter spot in the center of the lips. And this color is very close to my natural lip color. As you can see, this is called Sand Wash Pink. So I'm going to top off the Bobbi Brown Sand Wash Pink Liner with a L'Oreal color, I'm sorry, not L'Oreal, a Lancome color design uh, shade in the new pink. very pretty rose color and then I'm going to be using Smashbox's uh, Candid which reminds me a lot of Orgasm actually it's like a peachy color with some gold shimmer so I'm just going to roll some of that gloss onto my hand and then you can apply that with a lip brush or obviously your fingers That is the final look. Okay, now this is actually the final look because I forgot to put mascara on. I just curled my lashes and put on Maybelline the Falsies mascara. So this is the final neutral eye look for bridal series or for whatever you like. I hope, get my hair down here. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful for you and uh, if you're looking for any other specific colors for your wedding, please inbox me or comment. Uh, so that I can also do that look for you. Alright guys, I'll talk to you soon. Hope you're having a great day. Bye loves.